How do you kind of track your progress through the season? What, what are the areas where you see yourself better, or more comfortable? This season going on. Uh, I'd probably say the first thing is just getting more comfortable with this game and uh, just knowing what I have, being able to react faster and just worry about making the play instead of worrying about what I got to do. What's it meant to you to have the coach's confidence that they've kind of stuck with you through the whole thing, through, through that learning process, learning curve? Uh, yeah, it makes me feel good. Uh, it makes me feel like they got a lot of trust in me, and it, it goes both ways because I got a lot of trust in them. And uh, yeah, just, just allowing me to get experience is just something that's really helped me improve. I mean, just being able to, to get these reps and just improve uh, consistently. So it's, it's helped a lot. When you're going through some of these early early career learning curves and you, you make some mistakes, how do you kind of process those as learning opportunities and not letting them kind of get you down or, or shake your confidence going forward? Uh, I just try to I just try to stay level headed and know that it's that it's all part of the process. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be goods and bads. Like uh, like I mean, just it relates to kind of out here in practice. Like there's stuff that I've messed up on over and over and over and over and over again. And then one practice finally clicks and it just stays and you never mess up on it again. And so it's just that applies to everything. Did, did it feel like last week was kind of like the game where it clicked for you? Uh, I wouldn't just say just last week. I mean, I'm just slowly getting more and more and more comfortable with it. There's a game, I don't know if you remember, there's a play, I think it was against Arizona, when uh, the running back took the finger off the middle, and I think you were there. Did you feel like you kind of got into the game only went for a couple yards, but kind of got, you know, ran over a little bit. You know, we know you're a guy that, that loves to hit. I mean, that play just kind of, you know, when guys pop you a little bit, it sparks a little bit of fire in you. To, to uh, that. Yeah, stuff like that definitely uh, sparks sparks a little bit of fire in you and makes you want, want to get up and come harder. But uh, yeah, I got a, I got a lot of things that, that motivate me. So not just that, but a lot of other things. Whenever you're on the field, you're next to a guy who, who has a lot of experience, no matter who it is. What's that really relationship been like and kind of leaning on, on those guys? Yeah, uh, every linebacker in our room has a, has a good bit of experience uh, in, on the playing field, so that helps a lot. Just uh, with them uh, communicating. If I ever have a question, I can just ask them real quick, and most of the time they know, they know, and, uh, and they can help me. And it's kind of starting to go both ways. I'm kind of starting to learn, and I've, I'm able to help them out a lot more now than I was when I first got out there. So it's been good. You have a lot of strengths going north to south. You know, in terms of kind of pass coverage and zone, and what have you. You know, what's been the learning curve as far as you know, uh, going east to west, and you know, just just playing in those. Uh, pass coverage type of schemes? Uh, I'd say the, the biggest thing for me that, that I, I feel like I'm noticing myself getting a little bit better at is just um, just getting a, a pass or run read that, like as soon as as soon as the ball snapped being able to identify like the linemen are popping straight up and just over time reps I can I just get more familiar with if they're going to pass on this play or throw on this play so I can just break faster. Going back to the process of learning the scheme uh, early in the season when you didn't have that full grasp, how did that kind of show up on the field? Was it like pre-snap uncertainty, or what were some of the things that you didn't have all the pieces to? Uh, I'd probably just say, uh, I mean, instincts, because I mean, you, I try to, I try to play full speed, and that's one of my best things, just my instincts. And when I'm, when I try to play a little bit hesitant and make sure I'm doing the right thing, your instincts aren't as, aren't as quick. So I think that's where it kind of conflicts. Let's do one more. What'd you think of the atmosphere in Notre Dame? Uh, I thought it was great. I thought it was great. I, I loved playing over there in that stadium. Uh, I feel like their fans brought a lot of energy, and so did our fans bring a lot of energy too. And so it made it, it made it a really fun game for me, and uh, a really emotional game for me. And so yeah, I was, I had a lot of passion. I try to, I try to show it in the game. Thanks, Tackett.